morning. So let us uh, continue with the projection of lines. So let us do some more problems. So as we have observed in the previous classes, I am just doing the problems which are uh, typical and just not uh, repeating. And as I was uh, telling you earlier also, you can have uh, hundreds of different combinations of uh, these uh, problems. So only thing is you need to do the problem with fundamentals. Okay, let us uh, see this problem. Top view of a line PQ is 70 mm and makes an angle of 60 degrees with XY line. So what do you mean by this particular sentence now? So as you can see, I have just given the top view of the line PQ is 70 mm. That means it is not the true length. It is the length of the top. So what I have given is length of the top. So length of the top view is given as 70 mm. And that particular line makes an angle of 60 degrees. That means that this particular angle what it is given has to be an apparent angle. And apparent angle in the top view is indicated as what? It is indicated as beta. So beta is given as 60 degrees. The end Q is 10 mm in front of VP. And all these things we just do while we solve it. Okay. So as usual, first draw the XY line. Then it is given that end Q is 10 mm in front of VP. That means the top view point of the point Q or the end Q is below XY line by 10 mm. So let me indicate that. So I will draw this locus line. So this is locus of Q. Then the difference between the distances of PQ above HP is 45 mm. So as we said, I think I have not given this particular type of statement in the previous problems. Okay, now if we just Carefully observe this particular sentence. I have given the difference between the distances of P and Q above HP is 45 mm. Now, since I given above HP, we know that both what he has given is the details in the front view. Okay, so in the front view, he has given the details such that the distance between P and P, anyway, you know that in the front view, we are going to get the locus of P dash and locus of Q dash. And also in this particular problem, since it is given as the difference between the distances of P and Q means it is the distance between the locus P and Q. So P and Q has to be 45 mm. See already as you can see in this case, I have just given and 30 above HP. I mean I have also given the end Q now. So I can also mark that end Q also in the front view. Okay, let us mark that also. So this is locus of Q dash. So I know the locus of Q both in front view and top view, but I have given the statement such that the difference between the distances of P and Q above HP, that is in the front view, the distance between the locus of P and Q should be 45 mm. That is, instead of giving directly the locus of point P above HP is that is anyway I given this as 30 mm now. So 30 plus 45. So it is 75 mm. That is instead of giving you directly the point B is 75 mm above HP. I have given indirectly. Indirectly what I have given? I have given that the distance between the locus of P dash and Q dash is 45. So now what I need to do then? I need to draw the locus line for P dash such that their distance between them has to be 40 mm or 45 mm. So let me indicate that. So this will be now locus of P dash. So now as you can see this distance I have given as 10 mm and this distance is given as 30 mm that is above HP for the point Q and the difference between the distances between the above HP for point P and Q is 45 mm that is this particular distance is given as 45 mm that would say that instead of giving you directly the NDP is 75 mm above HP I have given the difference between the ends P and Q above HP is 45 mm Otherwise, this problem is similar to what we have done earlier. But anyway, let me complete this. Draw the projections written in its true length to increase. Anyway, now, I know the top view of the line is 70 mm. That is, NDP is given to us. So, 
So NTV is given as 70 mm and beta is given as 60 degrees. Then what you do then? Anyway, we know I can start from some point. Let us say we will call this as Q. And if I had a projector to this, this will be Q dash. Now the length of the top view is 70 mm, and that will make an angle of 60. That we say that we know the entire details about the final projections in the top view for the line PQ. So let me begin that. Okay, now anyway, always remember it is not required that point P or the point A should be near to X Y Z. It all depending upon the data what it is given in the problem. In this particular case, point Q is near to the plane. Whereas since Q is here, where do you get the other end? Other end has to be beyond this particular X Y Z or beyond this plane or beyond this V P. Okay. So let me consider this point to be now P now. And this is your length of the top view. And this angle is beta, which is equal to 60 degrees. So once I do this, we know that the locus of P is also fixed in the top view. So I can write it as locus of P. Now as you can see, we know all the no size. What I need to do is I to simply complete the problem. Now I need to draw the projections. Okay, already we have this top view. How do we get the front view? We know that the projectors from Q and Q dash, P and P dash should be on the corresponding same projectors. Then what I should do that? Anyway, I already know the locus of P dash. So now what I need to do is, I need to simply draw a projector through P. So let me draw a projector through P. So that this will be point P dash. And if I join this, this is my final front view. So I could say that given the projections, I need to now find the true length and true inclinations. So how do you find the true length? We know that to determine the true length, I need to make the one of the uh, in one of the views, I need to make it parallel. In the other view, I will see the true length. So what I do then? I will make this line parallel to x1 line. So since I am making it parallel in the front view means the line is parallel to hp. Now since the line is parallel to hp, I can determine its true length in the Top view. Now, as you can see, I have rotated with point Q now. That is, I am moving this P such that I am making this uh, line parallel to XY line. Is it okay? So, let me call this point as let us say some P1 dash. Now, since Q is fixed in the top view also, Q is fixed, but I am moving this P. So, how this P will move in the top view? It should move on its corresponding locus. So, then what I do that? I will draw a projector through this. So draw a projector so that this point will be P1. Now since I made this line parallel, if I join this, I will get the true length. So this is TL. Not only TL, this corresponding angle has to be with reference to PP, that is 5. Okay, now I need to determine the angle with reference to HP also. Then what to do then? If I want to find the angle with reference to HP, I need to make the line parallel to VP here. If I make it parallel to VP, in the front view, I see the true length, but I will see the inclination with the other plane. Okay, so I will just repeat the process. That is, I will make this line parallel. I am just showing these directions, indicating that how I am going to rotate the line. Okay, so this is P. So call it as P2 now because already we have this P1 same. So P2 and again I am rotating with Q. So Q is fixed here also in the front view. So P will be more on the locus of P in the front view. So I need to draw the projector there. I will get this to be P2 dash. And now since I made that line parallel to PP in the front view, I see the true length. So this is true length and of course the corresponding angle what it makes will be with reference to HP that is theta. And as usual, if you have done the problem right, this TL has to be same because there may only one line, you cannot get two different TLs. Understood? Thank you.